discussion. Well, it was like a week or two ago. First of all, everyone who lives in the Hamptons, Round Swamp. We all know Round Swamp. Round Swamp is... I know what you're thinking about the Ivy and this and that. And I talked about the $30 martinis with the tip. It's 40 round swap is the most expensive place you could ever shop. I don't care about air one and the Haley Bieber smoothie and all this other bullshit. It's I more mean, expensive than that. It's not a humane like guac. So if you buy a little thing of guac and chips, I kid you not, picture a little thing of guac, not the big tub, a little tub of guac with a little thing of chips or medium-sized chips, $37. Then you want lobster lobster salad, $90. Oh, they can, they can. Well, I know what you're thinking. Now, here's this, a salad. I find this one the most offensive, a salad, Caesar salad, Uh, no chicken. Do not add chicken. Now, I understand if you go out to the Ivy and you sit there and you have a table and you're watching the celebrities walk by, this is like you go into like a deli type place and pick up one of those plastic things, a salad. There's no meat in it. No meat. Just the the vegetables and the lettuce. $25. $25. That I assume at Trader Joe's, it's what, $4.99? I saw left fucking nuts. I'm looking on their website. They want $45 for three jars of fucking jam. Are you kidding? So you see that I'm not exaggerating. Thank you for backing me up. Their Lisa's homemade nutty granola, fucking granola, oatmeal toasted with a few nuts. They want $25 in your dreams. Okay, I, I didn't even realize this place was this. So why why was Bethany there? Who cares? Like you so, think right. that people are going to get that chicken salad? Well, probably they are. And but- I don't know how much the chicken salad is now. But the point is, I know what you're thinking. It is actually ridiculous. But everybody there in the Hamptons goes here. Like it's not like oh, this is Bethany and she's so like rich and this is no. I mean, I understand what you're thinking. Like I when I first got there, I was like. No, we're not. Oh, no. Everyone's like, oh, it's so worth it. I'm like, is it? Because I like all the other chicken. Mind you, you go to Citarella, it's still expensive, but it's less. It doesn't matter. People love, it's like a rite of passage in the Hamptons. People love Round Swamp. My point is, Bethany did not put Round Swamp on the map. It is like as well known to Hamptonites as like McDonald's, okay? So I don't understand. She's like going in and no one's, knowing her and she's saying that she deserves to, to, to get credit for the chicken salad because she eats it. And then now she's started to say like the next week that everybody hates her in the Hamptons because no one said hi to her at Round Swamp. Girl, nobody, don't flatter yourself. Nobody cares. I mean, you have like the JLo's of the world going into, but it's the average person in the Hamptons goes there too. They don't need Bethany's business. It is like a very well-known thing. Whether it is justified for these ridiculous prices or not is another story. I'm just telling you, it's like a known thing. I'd love to hear some more menu items, but the point is- Looking. You didn't put Round Swamp on the map. It is truly- Everybody in the Hamptons, no matter which Hamptons you're in, knows of Round Swamp and people go, they flock. They all say, oh, this is better there. That's better there. It's so worth it. I mean, we're all annoying in the Hamptons. But the point is, she didn't put it on the map. No one fucking hates you. You walked in and people looked and they probably saw, you know, JLo three minutes before you. So no one is talking to you. And Kelly Ben Simone, I don't know if everyone saw this, did a video yes. where she got home from Round Swap and she's like, hey guys, because she's in East Hampton all summer. And she's like, hey guys, she's like, I just went to Round Swamp. And she's like, um, this is uh, some arugula and this is uh, the chicken salad. And then the video ended. It was like three minutes. It was like two minutes. No drama. Kelly was just kind of, well done, Kelly. Such great shades, Bethany. She's like, I got home from Ron Swamp, and I'm going to have uh, some arugula. It's all, it's all green. I'm looking on their website. In fact, when you click on their um, prepared foods, they don't even list the prices under their red, their best lobster salad. Their 90, right? Sanya with, they don't even list the prices. What is this, Van Cleef? Like, oh, oh, what do I have to inquire within for the fucking price? They don't even list their prices on the website. That lasagna I've had before, I think that's like, you know, like a regular piece in a tin. I think that's like $36 or something. It's crazy. Purchase a gift card, they say. 
<laughs> okay. And, what, and what, like, I can't even, unless I start at a hundred, there's literally nothing I can buy. I can, I can't even buy the three pack of jam for $25. What a, oh, I guess. Oh my God, please. She was, you, look, said forever. Yeah. She's unhinged. I mean, she's unhinged. She's, okay. I, I don't understand, but her fans are rabid on TikTok. They love, they love her. her. A defender. Oh my God. On TikTok. It's so, to me, I, what I enjoy the most about TikTok is when you go on there and you think you're going to say something so sane, right? Like the sky is blue today, guys. And, and what a beautiful day. You will get the most opposite. You bitch. It's raining. It's dark skies. It's gray. It's doom and gloom. You go on there and say the most outrageous thing. You act like Bethany. Whatever you do that you think is sane on TikTok, people react the opposite. So with Bethany, to us, we look at her and we go unhinged, spoiled, has become complete like a shell of herself. Fallen from grace. People Fallen love her. from grace. People, they love it. They eat it up. Really? They want more Chanel content. They believe she's a relatable woman at Chanel. Yeah, yeah, no, no. So we're is the, she on making TikTok, money? We're the crazy ones. Wow. Um, is she making, because the thing is, here's my thing, because we saw yeah, the deal. But we saw the deal that Alex Cooper just closed for 125 million on. Now, by the way, when she went to, she left Barstools and went to Spotify. Didn't she get 60? I think she got 60 million. So you get mm -hmm. the 60 million and then that expires and what serious calls. And she's like, I'm very happy. You'd have to double my salary. And they say like, you don't give the 60 million back, right? You keep that. So is this, I think 125, is it now on top of this 60 million that she's leaving? She got the money when she went to Spotify. No, she got a deal out of yeah, Barstools yeah. for 60. So it's 125 million on top of the 60. So she's doing well. But my point is, look, do well, I think, wait a minute. yes, that's, that's okay. it is, it's Alex, but also her network, the Unwell Network, which has um, Alex Earl now has a show. I'm not sure if there have been some other shows that have released. I believe part of this agreement is a development deal. And then also my own theory on why she's getting this is Howard Stern is going to retire. I mean, Howard's 70. And so who better? Mm -hmm. I'd love to see a woman doing it. So good for Alex. She needs to carry our show. So yeah, that's a good point. The, Howard is on his way out, right? There's no way they can continue. And, and, you know, I love Howard's cast so much, but I don't think without Howard, you have a show. It is the Howard Stern show. So Howard's probably got a couple years left. Alex, let's build her up. Let's get her to have a whole bunch of shows like Howard's got Howard 100. Let's have, bring her in some comedy comedians. I think you're going to see her go edgier with some other shows. And um, let's let's replace Howard Stern. That's where the money is. That's where the money's coming. And good for her. She deserves. She's she's the highest rated female podcaster out there. I think you're right about this. I never thought about that. And look, you know, Andy Cohn, Jeff Lewis, I would love to know what they think, but they aren't the Howard replacement, right? Like she is, she is give it to a woman. Like that makes so much sense. Like let's have the female Howard Stern for the next generation. I like this. I do, but it does. And I, I'm curious what Andy thinks about this with Jeff. I mean, you tell me to tell me Andy Cohn ain't a little bit jealous, please, honey, that one will sell her mother down the river for, you know, an extra $125 million. They haven't no offense. And as much as, as we have thousands and thousands of people that listen to us every week and every month,